So in this video, I'm going to show you how to generate a building pad. Um, basically, the building pad is like the slab that your structure will sit on. So I'm going to go to the Massing Insight ribbon, and I'm going to click on Building, ta building Pad. All right, and when this uh, Modify Create Pad Boundary ribbon comes up, I'm going to select Rectangle and I'm going to make my building pad about 40 feet. Right? And then I'll check this box when I'm done. Now, it's possible to become more precise about the dimensions of a building pad. And in this example, what I'd like to do is show you how you might change some of the values or change the shape of a building pad. Um, when you're in the site view, it's difficult to select what you'd like to change. And one way that you can do this, however, is to go to the View tab, click on the section target, and what you'll be doing then is generating a section through the site by selecting two points. So if I go over to my project browser, I should now see that there is a new section that's been generated. And I can double click on it here, or I can also double click on the target. So now it's taken, taken me to the section. So what I have here is the building pad that has been uh, by default generated at level level one, zero feet, zero inches. And I'll use this height, this, this elevation height as my my basement or level one uh, for my plan of my structure. But getting back to what I was um, uh, beginning to describe, if I'd like to make changes to that building pad, I can click on it here and you'll see this edit boundary icon appear. Click on that and it'll ask me to go to another view because I can't edit it in this view in the way that I'd like to. So I'm going to click back on floor plan site and I'm going to open the view. So now I can see that it is a magenta color and this is going to allow me to make changes to it. So I'd like to make it precisely 40 feet 0 inches. So I'll make that change and then I'll, I'll make it the same in the opposite direction. Now as I as I work on this model, I can always make changes to it and adjustments, so um, I don't have to worry too much about being um, being so fixed on the final solution at the very beginning. When I'm done, I can click on Finish Edit Mode.